Whilst ionising radiation has a number of negative health effects, it's also used quite a lot in many different industries. So let's talk about some of them. Now, one of the first properties, as I mentioned in terms of negative health effects, is that it's, it kills cells. Radiation, ionising radiation, is what we call cytotoxic, means that it kills cells. So, interestingly, whilst radiation is known to cause cancer, it's actually used in the treatment of cancer, and that's radiotherapy. So radio for radiation, radiotherapy. Therapy means treatment. So radiotherapy is when somebody, say, has a, a tumour like breast cancer, and they're ex they, they go in and have radiotherapy where they're exposed for a short period of time just to that particular part on their, their body with a radioisotope that comes out of a treatment head uh, and irradiates their, their tissue. Of course, it kills the cancer cells, but it also does cause damage and, and cell death to healthy tissue as well. So you often get um, radiation burns on the skin. So radiotherapy is an important use. The fact that it kills cells also means that it can be used um, to sanitize or uh, to, to kill bacteria and to sterilize in industry, um, food preparation and hospitals, etc. So it's used in the process of sterilization because it kills microorganisms like bacteria as well. Another thing about radiation, we know that there's that property of uh, it gets stopped by, the, depending on the type of radiation, it gets stopped by different thicknesses of material. So for that reason, it can actually be used for measurement. So um, radiation is used in industry to measure the thickness of uh, materials. Measure, say, the thickness of, um, of steel or, you know, where you have to measure something very, very finely. So because we've got isotopes, so isotopes, different types of um, the same element. So what they can do is they use isotopes to uh, and 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 look at detecting those isotopes through a system. For example, they might use uh, a heavier radioactive isotope of hydrogen and put it into into water uh, and then follow that water through a water system, a sewage system, for example. Uh, to be able to identify where leaks are so they can detect the presence of the water by the radioisotopes. The other way they use radioisotopes is in medicine. Uh, nuclear medicine, it's called. Nuclear medicine is involved with um, using isotopes to be able to follow, uh, follow fluids and uh, follow material through the body so they're able to identify blockages through the gastrointestinal tract etc using isotopes another one is the fact that um, radioisotopes decay and that we're they're able to predict very accurately the length of time it takes for them to decay so for that reason they're able to use uh, radioisotopes for dating um, of in archaeology and particularly they use carbon-14 dating archaeology so I need to give you more information about this at another time but essentially they, they're looking at the proportion of carbon-14 in an artifact and through that they're able to work out the age this is another really important one and that is energy so with energy, we're talking about nuclear energy. And nuclear energy is used in many countries to produce electricity. And it's also used for um, provide the, the power for um, submarines and you know uh, other warships and things. So um, it's about energy production. And I guess one last one that um, we have to be aware of is that because of, there is a large amount of energy, there's the potential 
that they can be used for nuclear warheads, which can be very, very damaging. So scientists have been able to identify a number of different properties of radiation and use that to help in industry, a wide number of industries.